Hey guys, and welcome. We're going to today quickly run through SEM Rush's keyword research tool. It's a tool I've talked about many times, and in particular, we've talked about it because I actually use it myself. In the show notes, if you head down there, there's a link. It will give you a seven-day free trial of SEM Rush, so you can use their entire suite of tools and see just how powerful it is and why I use it. And you can join in with this tutorial and you can see exactly how it works. So without further ado, let's head over there and you can see why I use it. So you can see the keyword overview tool. You can see it comes from keyword research and keyword overview. We're gonna start by clicking over and going to uh, how to build a bed because this is a piece of content that someone may want to write. And we're going to look in the US because that's where this person wants to write it. So we'll click on search and we can see straight away that actually there are 480 searches a month for this. The keyword difficulty is 56, which isn't too bad. The higher that number, it's out of 100, the more difficult it is. And it is kind of an exponential growth. Um, and the global search volume is 1.3 thousand. So that, that tells you it's kind of a middling number. Um, the search is generally coming from the US and the UK, which tells you English is a good language to write in. It also tells you that you might want to think about in terms of depending what these search terms write look like, you might want to write two pieces of content there depending on whether you're an affiliate marketer, whether you're just targeting the US or you're looking for global traffic. Now, the intent tells you that this is generally people looking for pieces of information and not looking to transact directly when they're looking for this specific search term. So they're not people who are specifically looking for um, buying a bed. They've already probably done that, as you can probably tell from the search term. They've already bought it. They're looking to put it together. So you may well be thinking, I might put an advert on this, um, like AdSense, or affiliate marketing going, actually, I can sell other items, like, have they just moved house? Are they moving house? Um, do they need bed clothes, et cetera, et cetera. Next up, you've got the search, no, number of search results for this search term. So 1.6 billion is quite a high number of search results for this spe specific search term. But actually, as we'll see below, actually there isn't that many that deal with the specific thing. So it's not too much of a worry. And then we've got the CPC and that's how much you'll pay for a, um, a single advert on this exact term. Now, this next three columns are something you'll really want to look at. It's the really, one of the really powerful things here. So you've got keyword variations, questions, and related terms. Now, you've got the total volume, and that's for all the keywords in this section. So for keyword variations, there's 50,000. And this is just in the US. Questions, you've got 50,000. And related terms or related keywords, You've got almost 400,000. That together gives you about 500,000 related terms you could write about. However, if we look at this in a bit more detail, you'll see there's stuff here about veg beds, about garden beds, and that's not really what you're talking about, I wouldn't think. If you're looking at how to build a bed, you're looking at how to build something that you sleep in. So let's get a bit closer and you'll see that there's how to build a Murphy bed, how to build a bed frame, how to build a lodge loft frame. And those come with 1.9, 1 1.3, 1,000 traffic every month. And with that, you've got search difficulty anywhere from 64 to 56. And as I say, that's exponential. So it's much easier to run for how to build a loft bed. But if you're building a guide, you might put all of those search terms in there somewhere because if it's quite generic that building a bed frame, then you might be able to talk about all of them. Although if 
and especially with Loft and Murphy beds, because they might be fold down beds, and therefore that might be quite easy. Whereas the generic how to build a bed and bed frame are not so easy to do that. Now, if we move over to the right hand side, you'll see they're all kind of questions at the top. Just ignore that for a second. You come down a bit and you'll see it's just inserts of key words here. So building a bed frame, building a wooden bed frame. And so actually you'll see lower search volumes, less keyword difficulty here. And when you click view all, you'd be able to see much more of that too. And having that means you can put that within your content and you'll get more pickup generically in natural terms from Google. But also you can use all three of these to inspire more content. And you could probably put a load of these into um, SEM Rush uh, because you can put up to 100 at once in and say, actually, let's put these in order of search volume, in order of keyword difficulty, and let's find out actually which ones I'm going to prefer to do. But before you do that, you might want to come onto this next bit and look at the competition for this specific keyword and say, actually, does the word DIY come into it? Because all of these have the word DIY in them somewhere. Quite a few of them have the word wooden in them. So you go off and you have a look at some of the videos, you have a look at some of the text around it, and you might come back and put in quite a few of those keywords, say 10 of them, into that first page. And then you can build a real picture and go, okay, we need to dig a little bit deeper. And here you've got the authority score. So how much authority you can see, obviously something on YouTube here has got 52, whereas a page still on the first page of Google doesn't, it's got a page of eight and an authority score of eight. So it's really up for grabs this term. The number of referring links, does it matter in this um, search term? The number of links, how much search traffic this specific page is getting, and how many keywords for this specific URL. And you'll be able to click that and see the keywords that are delivered. Now, at the bottom, you can also see things like um, what the ad copy and ad history is like um, for this specific term, if it has it. But because it's such a low search volume, 480, there isn't in this case. And that's really how this works. It's quite similar to some of the free tools, but it's much more in-depth because it has that level more of knowledge. So if you think of Ubersuggest, where actually Ubersuggest will just have the bare necessities, it'll have stuff like the search volume and keyword difficulty, and that's really about it. It'll suggest maybe 10 keywords, and you get to do that three times a week. And that's coming from maybe say half a million websites in each country, and that's about it. This is coming from millions of websites every single day using 2030 APIs. And it's the same with Ahrefs. I really encourage you to go and have a go at this. Sign up for the seven day free trial. It's not gonna cost you a penny. Click cancel at the end of it if it isn't for you. Honestly, it works for me and it works for many, many other people.